Okay, so I got this idea out of this Mountains and Volcano book, as well as uh, from Hannah over at Pepper and Pine. Basically, just here, I'm sorting out cut-up strips of construction paper uh, and getting them separated by color. All right, and then I'm just going through the book um, to read the information about Fold Mountains um, first, and then we're going to get right into the project. First, we're using some decorating wax from Stockmar to kind of uh, do the same thing we're doing with the construction paper. This is just not permanent. Um, so I'm just showing them how kind of fold mountains are formed um, and using the decorating beeswax uh, to show them. And you could definitely just do this. They certainly understood after I showed them this, uh, but it was just fun to continue on to each make something out of the construction paper. So that's all I'm doing now is showing them kind of how fold mountains can happen. Uh, and I'm using the beeswax to demonstrate it here. Right? And you end up with, what happens? A mountain. A mountain. Now, Actually, you have, I like it. it looks like a rainbow. So if we push and push, we've got a syncline, an anticline, and now an overfold, right? Do you see I, how that works? That actually looks really so cool. So there's, that's how that works. So flatten it out and you flatten it back out and then you go ahead and make yourself a little fold mountain out. Of okay, you guys, so this is an idea that is not original to me. Um, it's, there's a project in this book. This book is the Mountains and Volcanoes by Barbara Taylor. This is a really, really great book. And um, there are projects throughout this book. And um, there's an area about fold mountains. So there's a little bit of a project in this book. And then also Hannah over at Pepper and Pine, um, actually it's been years now, shared um, some things she did along with this book to kind of have her kids visualize fold mountains. And so we're kind of bouncing right off of her ideas and doing doing that as well. Um, and so what you saw us do, um, Mara, this is the, I think, decorating wax it's called. We, I buy a couple of these every year because they're really thin and they're a lot easier to work with than the thicker pieces of Stockmar's uh, beeswax. And so I just pulled this out to demonstrate the fold mountains. We played with clay today, so my hands have dry clay on them. Um, so we did that and now I just cut a bunch of strips of um, construction paper and I went ahead and separated mine into like little, into colors. And I have my oldest son who's separating another stack now because we're gonna all do one. Um, and so I don't have Hannah's video like up and handy, um, but Jen, basically, she uses some glue and some clips and rubber bands uh, to form fold mountains out of the strips of construction paper, kind of just like we did with these, only this time the glue and the binder clips and rubber bands are gonna hold this together until it dries so that you end up having this paper dry into fold mountains. And it's just a fun visual of how fold, fold mountains come to be. So that's what we're doing here um, for this part of our little uh, geography unit. This unit in particular, we've been focusing on, um, you know, just still the United States and the capitals, but also more so than ever before, land and water forms and um, like tectonic plates and also the environment. We've just been touching on a lot and it's been a lot of fun. So uh, we're going to keep going here on our project.
Okay, so here they are all done. I definitely could have used a little bit more glue, but um, all in all, this worked out pretty good in helping them visualize fold mountains and how they're formed, and they're just like a fun thing to have out on display during this unit. So I will link below to where you can find the book, and I'll also link to Thrift Books, which I think is where I found mine, and then I'll link to Hannah's video below as well so you can get a good look at that, and she definitely does a really good step-by-step -step instruction, uh, extra instructional video on how to do this. Uh, so yeah, that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.